welcome again today we are going to discuss experiment number 28 29 and 30 together as we implement the concept of data binding there are some binding component available as a ready tool in web.net with which you can hold data and use this binding component to refer your data from database to the front end component so that's the practical significance of this experiment to use this data binding component in vb.net application what competency level you will achieve at the end of this experiment you will be able to write database application with adu.net for data binding so <coughs> There are two types of data binding, simple data binding and complex data binding. Simply, simple data binding includes binding allows you to bind control to the single data element. Text box control, if you look into, it only gives you view for a single value at a time. So binding your data to the text box is a simple data binding and complex data binding, it indicates that multiple element you can include as a part of single component. So the example of grid view control or combo boxes control or list boxes control. <coughs> These com controls may hold multiple element data at a time so that what may be data binding with such type of control we are going to call as complex data binding. That's the syntax with which you can add data binding to. So directly move to the program. How this data binding works together to execute uh, application with this data binding component so that's the look available gui required to execute this sample program we are going to use one button as a load data it's a simple button id is a label name is a label salary is a label complex data binding i'm going to use to hold the value of id and it's a combo box drop down list you can call as combo box next text box and text box to display name and salary of the application so as i said before rather than of use rather than that of using syntax to communicate with database i'm going to use a data binding tools for and a tool used to communicate with data and it's a data binding data binding tool is there binding source is an intermediate component with which you can bind your database into vb.net application see i'm going to select this component and add over window it's a background component used to communicate with database or it only help, holds information to communicate with database next go to the properties of there is one more component called as data source data source actual communication link in between your front end and back end database so select here go to the add project data source just click here select database go to the next select data set go to the next select new connection browse your database supply your database to the application check connection connection successful select new click next click s option see directly you will receive different tables present in your database exp27 exercise first finish this when you finish you will get two more data component as a part of one binding source component and one data set component as a part of application so next step here you need to select the data member as a part of for this data binding source i'm going to use employee table as a data binding as well as you select table you will get one more component on screen as employee info table adapter table adapter is the actual holder of your table data set is a temporary holder for 
all information retrieved from database and it may be a multiple tables together data binding holds the information of your database connection object to the database see without writing single line we prepared connection with database we prepared holder for database and we prepare holder for table even so all three components together we are going to call as data binding component used to execute this application now my next step is to bind this or with the help of this component i am going to display information in a front end component such as combo box and text boxes so when user clicks on load data i am going to specify a syntax in this format see it's a sim default line is there next factor when user clicks to the button one i am going to set the combo box data source property as a binding source so what are may be the property belongs to see if you look at here you will get data source property here also see it is by design time i am not going to set i am going to set it at run time data source as one display member as id and value member as id so i am going to display id value retrieved by binding source into combo box next i am going to add the value of a data set table 0 name property into name value into text box 1 salary value into text box 2 it's a run time references to the front end component with the help of binding source next step see when you run this application you will get see it is when you click here the data values you will receive as a part of sorry the id value you will receive as a part of combo box and with respect to this if you look at here if you change the value of id the reflect you if your text boxes reflects the changes with respect to and is just because of this functions we added here combo box selected index is greater than 0 with respect to selected index i am going to fill dynamically the value for text box 1 and text box 2 with the help of data set tables so that's the way with which you can run time fill the value into text box it depends on a user choice with respect to combo box see here it is load data first if you select 7 you will get appropriate value as a part of if you select 6 appropriate value as a part of so that's the way with which you can deal with complex binding as well as simplex binding this is simply nothing but complex binding and that's nothing but simplex binding in vivo.net let's move to the further part of two theory questions are there you will get answer of this question over your whatsapp group directly i'll move to the very first application the specified here design a window application for student name college name using simple data binding use appropriate data set they ask you to prepare application for student name and college name using simple data binding for this you needs to create a database first so let's go for this application is not ready with me so build this application by scratch exp 28 underscore 29 underscore 30 exercise first see for this application they ask you to create gui first label label second text box first text box second label i'm going to change the value of label weight label adds student name next institute name next step 
just prepare a database first of all access open database blank database set the type of database as 2002-2003 format name the database as exp 28 29 30 ex1 at location e drive exp 28 29 30 ex1 okay I need to specify one more space as a part. So it's done with your database. Go into design view, create table as stored info. So name of the user, name, INST, name, close this. Open name as a triple A, institute name as LESP, triple B, WC, triple C, GP Pune. It's okay. So three records present inside my database and database is present over C drive. My next step is to include database binding object along with navigation object so initially i'm going to add binding navigator into this for binding navigator you need to add binding source first of all add binding source then go for binding navigator binding source first is already part of binding source first Go for data source, add project data, database, data set, new connection, select your database from where it is here is 282930 exe one test your connection, select OK, go to the next, select yes, prepare connection string for, select your table, click finish. So it's done with your application ready with binding source and data set. My next step is to add binding navigator into. So binding navigator allows you to navigate through different values available together. So for this binding source, select this. Binding source is okay. Now, if you run this application, you will get runtime binding navigator let me check the properties of binding source yes binding source is okay but if you look into you need to select data members even stored info now it's working with you will get three records as a part of so you need to specify communication in between your text boxes right now so fill information into text box with a data binding object as select text component, go to the advanced part here, data binding advanced part, click here, select binding source as data binding source, simply maximize this student name. Okay. Similarly, go to the institute name, advanced inside data binding, there is an advanced tool. Select data binding institute name and it's done with. See, without writing a single line of code, you can access record from database in this format. See, here it is. Now, what are maybe records present inside your database is displayed as a part of along with the navigation keys. So that's the power of ADO.NET binding component. Here's the end of your application or exercise number first of experiment number 28, 29, 30. Similarly, let's go for complex binding. If you want to bind it with 
See, same application I'm going to use for your assignment number two also. Only you need to set grid view. Grid view is a complex data binding component. Simply select this and select data source as binding source. That's it. Once you run this application, you will get output of your grid view as a part of. So multiple elements together, we are going to call as complex binding and simple view together, we are going to call as simple binding. So it will gives you actually with, with respect to a second, they ask you to design a window application for bank customer record displayed using complex data binding with appropriate database. Now you, you are having all information about you can prepare a different database for customer record and complete this assignment. But with respect to me, it's okay with only if you display information as a part of grid view, it, it is considered as a binding with complex database. So it's your responsibility. I'm clearly mentioning here, it's your responsibility to execute second assignment or second exercise bounded with your experiment number 28, 29, 30. Along with this, it's the end of experiment number 28, 29, and 30. Just go through this video and complete your experiment. Thank you.